we have to press shift and then type an arrow key in your keyboard for instance on the left will give me 19 degree if you would like to improve your skill in solid work you are in the right channel so here we help everyone to improve their skills step by steps from the scratch and we will give you a two main example but for this one we we'll just here talk about the solid work interface before that please subscribe to this channel and if you like please click like and this help us a lot Let's now start talking about the SolidWork interface. When you open for the first time the software, you will see this welcome screen. And here you have the parts, assembly, drawing, advanced, and open. The parts is to make a single 3D part. The assembly is to view the part you have made in the parts or to combine different 3D parts that you have made. The drawing is to make a 2D view of the model you have made whether from assembly or from the part. Let's suppose that uh, you will start today and uh, you will start with the part. Just come here and then click the part. When you click in the part, you will see this interface. So the interface is quite the same with other version. So if you're using a old version, don't worry because there is no too much difference in uh, the interface. The SolidWorks interface has seven main parts. You have the menu toolbar, command manager, the tabs, managers section, head up toolbar, task pane, and uh, the graphic area. Let's now talk about each one of them, starting with the menu toolbar. Menu toolbar is where you will find the basic tool like home, if you want to, to new start a new project, if you want to open, save, print, and you have at the end the search command. So here is, if you don't know what is the command, just come here and type the command, for instance, line, and then we'll give you the line. So that's if you want to search a command. Command manager and the tabs. The command manager is where you will find all the commands you will use to make your drawing. And depending on uh, the tabs you use, it will uh, change. For instance, right now I am in the features and in the feature I have all these commands. And also I have some others that uh, are not on because I don't have anything here yet, right? And I don't have yet activated and plane. So when this happens, they, they stay kind of off. And I can see here that they have a sweep, boss, base, loft, boss, boundary, extrude cut, hole wizard, and others. I have also another one. If I click in the sketch, which is another tab, I will have different command as well. So this will depend on the tabs I am in, the tabs. I have different types of the tabs. I have the features, sketch, markup, evaluate, MBD dimension, sold work adds in, MBD, sold work scams, sold work scams TBDM, and sold work inspection. Because you are starting from the beginning, I want you to focus on the first two, which is the features and the sketch. The features is to make the 3D modeling. So if you want to make a drawing in 3D view, you will always use the features. The sketch is to make the sketch in a 2D view. Of course, you once you choose the plane and then you can just come here to the sketch and the sketch will have all the basic command like the lines, the sequel, spline, ellipse, rectangles, polygons. And also we have, and if you go at the end, I have the instant 2D. But if I go to the features, I will see instant 3D. So that's the main difference between these two tabs. And they are very important and we will use a lot. The next section is a section manager, which is on the left side. In the section manager, we also have different types of manager. We have the fit manager or the fit manager design tree, property manager, 
Configuration Manager, DM Expert Manager, Display Manager, Soldwork Scam Features 3. And if I come here to this arrow, if I click, I will also have another option, which is uh, the Soldwork Scam Operation 3, Soldwork Scam Tool 3, and last one, Soldwork Inspection. As I said, forget all of them, and I want you just to focus on um, the first two, which is the Fit Manager Design True and the Property Manager. These are the main one that we will use a lot here. Talk about the future manager. So it is where you will see the evolution of your drawing. So this one will guide you and you will see the sequence of your project. And also it is where you will find the, the plane. If you want to start a drawing, just come here to the plane where it is front, top, right. So you just need to, to click and then select the plane. You want to start drawing and this is the guide. Now, when you start making your drawing, for instance, I just come here to the front plane, select the plane, and then go to the sketch, just an example. When I activate a command, automatically will go to the property manager. So when I activate a command, the property manager will automatically activate and they give me all the option for that command. In this case, the sequel. So I can make the sequel of two point or three points. If you go to the polygon, the same thing. So it will give me the option of the side I want to use and also will, will give me the option if I want to use inscribe or circumscribes, the dimension as well and uh, the point. If you want to start in the center points or in uh, different points. We will talk more about this later. And right now we just focus on uh, the SolidWorks interface. Let's go now to the next part, which is the head up toolbar so if you want to deselect just type es key in your keyboard and then we'll deselect now let's go to the next one which is a head up toolbar the head up toolbar which is uh, stay on the top of uh, the graphic if if you don't see here just put your cursor in uh, the command manager click right click in your mouse go to the toolbar and then come here you will see the head up tool bar. So if you uncheck and then you go there, it's appear, right? So if you go back, right click in your mouse and then it goes to the view head up. If you check, if you just click and then we'll come back. So this one here, it is also very important uh, to understand very well or we'll just go to the another part. We'll just go to the part number one where I have one drawing. So to understand very well this head up uh, part, head up toolbar, this, it is a, a way so that you can quickly find the side of your drawing. For instance, let's see, if you come here, click to this part, and if you want to go to the top, just come here, right? Select the top. If you want to go to the one side, to the front, if you want to go to the side, left, you can see here back, see? So it is a way to find like on the top. This is the top. See, if you want to go there again, go back and you want to go to the one side, like to the front, just click there. So it is a, a way so that you can find easily and position of your drawing. So it is um, this head up tool. Uh, it is very helpful and help a lot. Next part is the task pane. The task pane, it is where you will find the library, sold work resources, and also if you want to explore some file and the appearance of the sign, this one we will also use a lot during our drawing. If you don't see here, again, put your cursor in uh, the command manager, right click, goes to the toolbars, and then you can come here, task pane. If I uncheck, it will disappear. Now, if I check, we'll come back. So that's the way this command uh, works. Now let's talk about the main part, which is the graphic area. The graphic area is the main part of our drawing. And see that this part, it is always important to, to make as big as possible. And if you make your your screen, your interface, simple as possible. It is, it is always better and this will improve your performance while making your drawing. 
how can you move a profile, move a drawing in a geographic area? So it is very easy. If you want to rotate your drawing, what you have to do is just in your mouse, there is a wheel in the middle of your mouse. Just press down and then move your mouse inside, whether on the left, the right, top, so it will rotate easily. So that's the way you can rotate easily the drawing in a graphic area. Now, if you, you want to rotate in a very controlled way, you can just use the array key in your keyboard. If I press the array key in any side, like right now I am pressing on the left, it will rotate 15 degrees. If I go down, it will go down. Every time I, I type on the array key in my keyboard, it will turn 15 degrees. If I go to the right, same thing, to the left, up or down. Now, if I want to turn 19 degrees, I will have to press Shift and then type an arrow key in your keyboard. For instance, on the left, will give me 19 degrees. So that's the way this one works. So 19 degrees. You can uh, move very easily using that. The other one you have is the scroll to zoom. If you want to zoom, you just need to scroll your wheel on the mouse, zoom in and zoom out. So that's the way. Oh my God, what is my drawing? So if your drawing disappears, don't worry. To find the drawing, you just need to type F in your keyboard and then it will come back. So that's the way you can find your drawing. This is the introductions about the sold work and I hope you like and please don't forget to subscribe and uh, let's now start going deep. And if you want to f fast track your learning in uh, this uh, software, please don't forget to subscribe and uh, see you to the next videos.